Chen is accused of dodging a Detroit water bill that tops $105,000. It's for the nursing home he owns, and tonight the city is out to make him pay. Andre Isom has the story only on 7. If you refuse to believe it's a new day in the D, then you really need to get with the program, people. I am Gary Brown, the director of the Detroit Water and Sewage Department. And don't you dare take advantage of the citizens who live in the city he loves, the city of Detroit, because he is not having it. Oh, and Mr. Brown's not bluffing. Believe me. And on this day, he is pointing at one person in particular. Uh, Monday morning, he needs to be in our offices making arrangements to settle up this debt. Period. Period. If not, we'll see him in court. Why is he so heated? Well, more than a few folks would say, for darn good reason. This is a situation we're just not going to tolerate. He's received many, many notices uh, and some personal attention from our staff, and he's just not made his way into DWSD. When we have a commercial establishment that's making a profit off of Detroiters and they're not paying their water bills, that cost gets passed over to the people that can least afford it. And we're talking to the tune of about seven grand a month. I sat down with Gary Brown and he broke the whole thing down, telling me the man who owns this place, St. James Nursing and Rehabilitation Center on Gratiot, is not putting these innocent people first. For a businessman to put them at risk of being without water. According to Brown, that businessman owes. Well over six figures. Whoa, that's one heck of a water bill. Why so hefty? When a person hasn't paid this bill in a year or 18 months. Or. He set up his own payment plan. If he owes uh, $7,000, he's paying $500. Uh, in some months, in some months, he's not paying anything at all. We're not going to let you set up your own payment plan. We just can't allow it. The law won't allow it. It's just not right. Families are paying for their loved ones to live here. Short term, long term, it doesn't matter. And according to these court documents, the businessman, Bradley Malley, lives in this Oakland County mansion here. Look at this house, Dave. Amazing. Isn't it amazing? I'm Andrea Eisen with Channel 7. How you doing? I'm good. Good. Looking for the owner? of this property. It was $105,000 for the water bill. This sign outside this house may say keep out, but that's not going to keep Gary Brown quiet. No siree. DWSD is going to find out that you owe the money and we're going to come after you to collect. We went to his house, his business, even tried to call, but no luck. The good news is the tap will still remain running for these residents, but hopefully the tab won't. In Detroit, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.